What a day. And I still haven't cooked dinner. Hello guys and welcome to In the Kitchen with Dominique. On today's show we are making zucchini boats. You're like what the hell is a zucchini boat? Like what is that? I know it's confusing. So maybe when DR was a baby my mom was cooking and she ran out of pasta. She was going to make this pasta dish kind of like a big ziti so to speak but there's no pasta and basically we just had to use what we had. So I saw her um, cut some zucchini in these fat strips and she put this nice little meat sauce on top with tomato sauce and some um, like cheddar cheese and mozzarella on top and it turned out to be a winner. So last year, I was trying to think of something to make really quick for my kids that wasn't, uh, that didn't have pasta or any kind of starch in it. When I did some research on it, I figured out that there are such a thing as zucchini boats crazy because when you look at it, it looks like a boat. So let's get started. I'm so excited. So in my pan, I am taking some Italian sausage out of the casings and um, I'm going to brown this up with some mushrooms and some garlic and the shallot. Normally my daughter does this. She gets a kick out of this. She says it reminds her of slime, which I slime kind of makes my blood boil these days. It gets everywhere. And so I'm like, oh, if you want to play around with something, come do this. And it kind of satisfy her need to play around with something ooey and gooey. So we're gonna do this and I'll show you guys how to carve out the inside of the zucchini. Okay. All right, so that's done. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands really quick and put this in the garbage. All right, so I washed my hands thoroughly um, and you will see me wash my hands all the time. I do not play when it comes to cross-contamination and things like that. Anytime you touch a raw meat, I don't care if it was like a morsel of the meat or your, just your fingertip touched it. You go wash your both of your hands completely as if your hands were completely coated um, in the food. And it's just a rule of thumb. Like you wash your hands. Like if you go in a refrigerator, you wash your hands before you go in there. Like that's just the inner Melanie in me and my dad who I can just hear ringing in my ear. Did you wash your hands before you touched that stove? Did you wash your hands before you came to the house and did you just touch your refrigerator? It's just, it's like in my, it's in my soul. Not just because I'm a licensed food prep manager and that I'm, it's just, just wash your hands. So we're going to let this Italian sausage go and show you guys how to carve out the zucchini so that the stuffing can go in there. So what I do is I first I slice these vertically and I chop the ends off because the ends, they're not tasty at all. So you just go in and you go as far to the side as you can go. And then you do like that and like this. And then you cut like this and like that right there. And then you do a little horizontal sliver like this. And then you run your spoon like this. And you go as deep, you go as deep as you can fill it on your palm of your hand. That lets you know that you're going deep enough and you just take that out. Okay. So yeah, so you're probably wondering what are we going to do with all this 
you know, good stuff that came, the meat of the zucchini. And you don't want to waste it. I don't like wasting food either. I get it. So what I do is I freeze it and you can put it in the freezer and sneak it in your kids' smoothie. I know it sounds crazy to put anything zucchini like in your um in your smoothies or your kids stuff, but they don't taste it at all. It has it doesn't add any flavoring in it. It's very bland. Um, when you add the frozen zucchini in a smoothie, it keeps it colder longer and you're adding fiber and all these amazing nutrients in your kids' smoothies without them knowing. So I have this amazing um, Italian sausage browning up. And then what I'm going to do is finely cut my mushrooms. And so um, one thing that drives people crazy about mushrooms is that they think it gets too tough and rubbery. And the reason why mushrooms get rubbery is because of the way some people clean it. All you have to do, literally you could grab a napkin or a dish towel and wet it and just gently wipe the dirt off the outside. Do not rinse your mushrooms off at all. Don't do that. It's going to make it rubbery and chewy. And it's just going to ruin your meal. So really quick. Um, oftentimes it's hard to get Italian sausage really broken up and into tiny bits. What I use is my potato masher. So I'm going to go grab that really quick and just really work it in there and get it broken apart. Okay. Okay. So I have my potato masher. I'm going to turn it off while I'm going in there. and breaking it up because you don't want big chunks in the zucchini you want little pieces so you'll probably often see me um turn my stove off and on a lot and the reason why is because i have an electric stove and with the electric stove you can, the heat can really get high and either burn stuff or just mess with the texture of your food. So it's good to learn, um, to really learn how your stove works. Um, cause sometimes, you know, stuff can cook really, really fast or it could cook really, really slow. And the reason, the reasoning for that is because there's no manipulation in heat. You know, whereas a gas stove, it's the heat is pretty consistent. You know, if it's if it says that it's on medium, it's gonna stay on medium throughout the whole meal or throughout the whole cooking time. And that's what you want. So this is doing good. Okay, so we got that going. I'm gonna keep that in there. And finish my mushrooms. Okay. Just run your knife through it. The good thing about mushrooms is that they cook down a lot. And, a, you know, keep those stems in. Those stems are extra flavor. And I don't believe in wasting that. I add that into my meals. So we got the mushrooms in. This is going to be so good. Cannot wait for you guys to see how this turns out. And then I'm going to cut my garlic. And for the garlic, you don't want chunks of it. You want to make sure that it's minced pretty well. Really, really tiny. You want it to get lost in the sauce. Okay. 
Okay, almost done. And we're gonna add that to it, garlic. And then we're gonna add one shallot. We're gonna add one shallot. And we're gonna cut this up good. And so I haven't really mixed it yet because I want that Italian sausage to um, finish cooking throughout. And I need brown bits. Brown bits is flavor, guys. I'm gonna thinly sliver these. Oops. Okay. okay almost done. We're gonna add that to it. And then take your masher and kind of go through it again just to make sure that um, any last bits of Italian sausage is completely cooked throughout. And oh my God, here goes my eyes. I got it. I could do it. I could cook this meal without crying. I know I could do it. I know I can. And then kind of use your spoon too. Go through and take that off. And just let this finish cooking. And so right now I have my oven set at 400 degrees. So while this is cooking, what I'm gonna do, oops, a little piece of shallot didn't make it. Okay. So while this is finished cooking, I am going to add a little bit of um, tomato sauce, just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna mix this. Okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of seasoned salt. And you want to season this at the end, guys. If you season it before the onion or the the mushrooms can cook too fast, you want to wait a little bit. These are so good for like if you're doing like a little brunch or. If you're trying to um, cut down on your carbs and starches, make this. This is a good alternative, guys. Okay, so now I just got stuff cleaned up and we're ready to assemble these and put these in the oven. First, what I'm going to do is just rub the zucchini with olive oil. So put some on my hands. And then what I'm going to do is just more so the outside of it. I'm just going to make sure that these don't stick to the pan and that it cooks evenly and throughout. And then what I'm going to do is start scooping this yummy stuff inside. This is so much fun for your kids to do because they, um, they have the opportunity to really like get touchy feely with the veggie. And I feel like sometimes, except from Asher, he just, He's the resistant one. Um, they kind of are more open to eating stuff when they play with it more, I believe. So get your kids in the kitchen. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. All kids are different. And so while I was cleaning up, I thought, so this is, this is what happens. You know, you're putting something together. And last minute, you're like, mm. you're thinking about taking your meal to another level. And so you open up your cabinet. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to put a little bit of breadcrumbs on the outside of these just to add a crispier note. And how amazing would that be um, in conjunction with the 
with the cheese. Okay, so I want to use all this filling, guys. No stuffing left behind. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's done. I'm going to go wash my hands really quick and then get the bread crumbs. All right, so how amazing do these look already? So I have some Italian garlic and herb breadcrumbs. I'm just going to do a quick sprinkle on top that I thought would be a fun addition. Just a little bit. Just a tad. And now the mozzarella. This is where the fun is for people. Gonna load this up. Okay. And I have my oven again set for um, 400. And we're just gonna pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes or until they are ooey and gooey and nice and brown on top and if you see i'm allowing some of the mozzarella to hit the pan that's going to give us extra crispy bits that you can snack on with your zucchini this is for all the cheese people out there i know people are into like the textures and people are into the cheese skirts now which is like if you're making a cheeseburger and that extra cheddar just hits the pan and makes it crispy add another note of texture to it do that whatever floats your Zucchini boots is what works. So we're just gonna pop this in the oven for 20 minutes. The zucchini boats are done, guys. Let's take them out of the oven and put them in our mouths. And eat them. They're gonna be so amazing. Let's go. Oh my god. Look at all that. So, what I did was I checked them um, after 20 minutes and I was like, I wanna put these babies under the broiler for a quick second because I wanted some brown crispiness on the top to give it that pizza type of effect now this is where i get nervous about these is hoping that these do not stick to the pan so i need your guys' good vibes and all that stuff um mm -hmm. okay perfect and i think i need a spatula for these just because some of them kind of stuck together you guys, I mean, look at these zucchini boats and what happened. I don't know why I whisper when I'm, t it's like, I get all intimate and stuff with the finished product. Look at that. Let's take this last one off. And just put this one on the angle. Like so, so you can see what happens on the the side of them. We'll save these for the cameraman to eat. And then we are going to just simply finish this with a lot of parsley. And put this on top and eat it. This will make a quick school night dinner. Put this on top. You can use basil too if you want. Okay. 
Okay. And voila. It's done. Zucchini boats, top of mozzarella are done. They are complete. So this is my favorite part. It's the part where we taste it to see how it came out. Mmm. Ooh, nice crispiness. Actually, blow it. It's gonna be hot. Mmm. Smells so good. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> mm. 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 So good. Mm. It was so good and so hot. You guys gotta make these and email me. Let me know how you liked it. If it worked, if it didn't work, whatever happened. In the kitchen with Dominique at gmail.com on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. In the kitchen with Dominique. Bye bye. Wait.